Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who still haven't seen any of my videos or tips, my name is Maria or you can call me Raquel. I am a realtor for more homes serving the whole Central Florida area. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so because every week I'm going to be posting a video of a home and some tips for you for information. Today I'm going to be talking about the different type of loans that are available. Now it's very important for you to know that I am not a lender, but I have the information to kind of guide you and also connect you to a lender if you don't have one and you need help in that matter. Some of the most common type of loans that you are going to hear out there are of course the conventional FHA, VA, or USDA loans. So right now I'm going to go over each one of them to give you an idea of some of the requirements and how they work. Again, I am not a lender, so once you talk to a lender, they're going to be able to give you extent information on the type of loans or how you can be qualified for any of those. Let's start with the conventional loan. It's often going to require a higher credit score they require at least 620 to be qualified for this loan. You are gonna to need to provide proof of income, pay stuff, tax return, and you need to prove that you have been working in the same job for at least two years. The down payment for a conventional loan is going to be up to 20%. It could be 10, 5, but it will depend on the credit score that you have. If your down payment is going to be up 20%, you are going to need a private mortgage insurance for a conventional loan. And you are going to need an appraisal, an appraisal to determine that the amount of the mortgage that you have been approved for is, it meets the value of the house. And I will talk about the FHA loan. An FHA loan requires less of a credit score, you're only gonna need at least 580 on credit score, and the down payment on an FHA is lower. It's only going to be 3.5%. You still need to provide same kind of information. You still need to provide proof of income, pay stuff, uh, your credit score, tax returns, and you need to be working the same job for two years, just like the conventional loan. Another type of loan is the VA loan. Just like the name said, it's for veterans or active duty of the armed force. This loan requires zero down payment, but they still need to go through your credit score. They need to prove or they need the proof that you are a member or you're part of the armed force, like I just said. A VA loan still requires a PMI, private mortgage insurance, but the interest rates are lower than the FHA loan. To be eligible for the VA loan, you need to meet the requirements for the Department of Veterans Affairs. However, since the VA doesn't originate loans, you still need to meet the requirements from a lender. And two last things for the VA loan. Your credit score still needs to be 620 or higher, and the person who's applying for this loan has to be able to pay or make the payments for this loan. And the last one that I'm going to talk about because there is many other different types of loan mortgage, but the last one that I'm going to mention is the USDA loan. Just like the VA loan, the USDA loan requires 0% down. This type of loan is designed for rural or suburban areas and it is issued by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Even though USDA loans are like VA loans, you still need to pay a private mortgage insurance even if you're not paying a down payment like the USDA loan doesn't require you a down payment. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Remember, I am going to be posting videos of homes and tips. If you're looking to sell, buy or invest, contact me. My phone number is going to be here and also a link in my comments and I'll be happy to assist you with that. See you next time.